Mr. Tuttlebaum? Mr. Tuttle, yeah. There you go. Good morning, sleepyhead. How you feeling today? Where am I? Well, um, there was an accident, and uh, and you're in the hospital. I'm your physician, and we are we're gonna get you better, and we're gonna get you we're gonna get you out of here. But you were in a pretty bad accident. We had to put you into a medically induced coma for uh for a little while. A coma? Yeah. You were hit by a bus. It was a lot of <clears throat> a lot of damage, but we we got you fixed up. How long was I under? You know what? That's that's not important now. The important thing is you're you're well. You're on the road to wellness. It's still 2019. No. 2020? 2021? Mm. Oh my gosh. 2022. There you go. Bingo. It is 2022 and the world's changed uh, quite a bit. So you'll do some adjusting. We'll get you some physical therapy. And uh, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. I got. I gotta. I have to go. I have a grocery store to run. Um. You know what? I wouldn't be too worried about that. Your uh, the grocery store that you have, your your family has, that uh, that went out of business. What? But listen, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. See, <clears throat> there was an incident. And uh, have you ever heard of Wuhan, China? Okay, me neither. So anyway, uh, something happened in Wuhan. It went global, and a lot of people got very scared. So the government stepped in, and they're like, uh, everybody stay home. They put us on lockdown. So you picked a great time for a coma. But here's the other thing they did. They kind of decided which businesses would do well and which would fail. So like Amazon, the big grocery stores, they did great. But the little guy, uh, you got screwed. You know what? We should probably... Maybe look at uh, getting you a lawyer for that. You gotta have wait, a wait, 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 wait. The government does not have the power nor the right to shut down my business. Thank you, thank you. They don't, but they're like, hey, it's an emergency. So they used emergency powers. Nobody could believe it. Um, they're telling people you can't go outside without a mask. They got this shot. They're telling people they have to get. Don't tell anybody, but I, I didn't get it. And um, yeah, it's really, really strange. It's a, it's a harsh time to be around. If you don't get the vaccine, you get in trouble. You got to show papers. Well, thank God President Trump's in charge. I'm sure he's going to fix everything, right? Um, it's not, uh, it's not uh, President Trump anymore. Remember how the economy was doing great and gas was like a buck ninety-five a gallon? Yeah. Well, now uh, economy's not doing so good. Unemployment's not doing so great. Uh, gas is like five bucks a gallon in a lot of places. And, uh, ooh, the southern border. Oh, there's, uh, that's been wide open, which is weird because everybody's afraid of this Wuhan thing. Well, who's running this show? Do you remember the Obama administration and, uh, and Obama's, uh, vice president? A guy by the name of Joe Biden, professional politician. There's your president. Joe Biden. Yeah, they had this weird uh, election during the, the whole lockdown thing. And they had like uh, mail drop voting, vote by mail, everybody. Joe Biden got 81 million votes. Joe Biden could never get 81 million votes. Well, don't say that out loud or the FBI is going to show up. So you're telling me mm -hmm. it's President Joe Biden. I know. I know. The and baby it, sniffer grabs babies. And, yes. I mean, I mean, he really gets, he gets, gets in, in there. there. Yeah, he's in charge. The guy who's never run a business, never made a big decision. Uh, oh, they say we might be uh, getting involved in the Ukraine, getting between them and Russia. It is a train wreck. But you're getting well. Doc, mm -hmm. I want you to put me back under. What? I want you to put me back under. I want back in a coma. I never even thought about that. We could just put you back under. Scooch over. I'm coming with you. That's a great idea. <sighs> These beds are actually pretty comfortable. Yeah, they really are, aren't they? Yeah. Boy, you don't want to see your bill. How long should we stay under? I'm thinking like 2024, because Trump's going to make a comeback. You know what? I'm going to pee first. I'll be right back.